Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are doing lovely today, as I do. First of all, though, let us all praise Allah subhanahu wa taala for His it's His countless gifts and blessings, so that we can gather in this place without any obstacle. My name is Muhammad Unai Zamzami. I'm a 12th grader from Mahat Ihya Sunnah and I'm about to deliver you a speech about artificial intelligence. First thing first though, what is artificial intelligence, you may ask? Well, artificial intelligence, or AI as you may call it, is a machine that possesses or can simulate and process a human intelligence. Or to put it in simpler terms, it's machines with human intelligence. So, what does it do? It can do the task that would usually requires human intelligence to do. But now, it can be replaced by these machines. They can learn, they can work as effectively and maybe more efficiently than us do. Why? Because we humans need breaks, we humans need food. We need drinks to eat, to drink, to get energy. We have our ups and downs. But these machines, they don't have that. They can have endless energy and work 24 hours all day, all night, and can't produce the exact same result. One of the example of AI usage is Google an advanced search engine which contains billions of information but if you search a specific information it just pops in immediately and it pops out the information that you want to know this is what AI is doing to our life it's convenient and it's useful for us but it has a risk What's the risk, you may ask? Well, first, AI uses a rare earth material called selenium and lithium. This thing consumes a whole lot of energy and it irreversibly damages our environment. Second of all, it causes unemployment because these machines work efficiently and more accurately than us humans do. And it makes us humans have lesser job opportunity. And this is a true problem for us because we humans are getting more and more. Our population is growing. And third and lastly, they're making us lazy. You know, the advancement of technology. They can learn by themselves. They can do everything that humans do. It makes us lazy. It makes us lazy to do everything. And this is a true problem for us humans. So, my conclusion is, we humans, as the creator of artificial intelligence, must always pay attention to our creation and control it. Because we do not know, maybe it can get out of control. That's why we as a human must pay attention to it. Maybe that's all for me. I thank you sincerely for your attention. And with this, I conclude. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.